I wanted to start off this episode by letting all of you know that I absolutely love Rick and Morty. In fact, this is the whole reason that I even have this channel to begin with is because I love movies and TV shows all together. So with that being said, let's analyze some of the goofs that I found in this week's Rick and Morty. And before we get started, time for another Did You Know? So did you know that the title of this week's Rick and Morty is off of the movie called Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, starring Jim Carrey? And if you haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. It is outstanding. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you a few of the mistakes that we found in the awesome Rick and Morty. So for mistake number one, we got Rick in his garage. Nothing unusual about the smartest man in the universe placing his drink on a coaster that floats. But I want you to focus your attention on the stuff on the desk in the background. But as Rick walks over to the shelf where Birdman is, notice that there's nothing on the desk in the background that there was before. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. Animation's not easy. If it was, why don't you do it? But we count that as a mistake nonetheless. Okay, bring him out. So for mistake number two in Rick and Morty, Rick is concocting a potion that will put himself into Birdman's brain. Notice that he leaves the bowl on the counter. But after he hooks himself up to the other end, notice that behind him the bowl is now missing. I would love to hear your opinions on where the bowl went. Asshole detected. Takes one to make one. So in this goof, I know a lot of you are going to say it's a little bit nitpicky, but we're going to point it out nonetheless. So here we can see that there are a pair of pants and some other stuff in a trunk to the left. But just after Rick traps himself in the container, notice that he runs up to the trunk and there is something red sticking out that wasn't there previously. Yes, I know, I'm acknowledging that's a little bit nitpicky, but it wasn't there before. Take our stand at Blood Ridge. So in this scene, the other Rick heroically saves himself. So just after he shoots the bug, notice that the one laying closer to the right has two bullet holes in the top of him. But again, as the camera switches angles, we can now see that there is one bullet hole and it's on the side? Like, how did that happen? Um, yeah, I don't know. Asshole detected. Yeah, I'm sure. A lot of people feel that way. Really so fragile you won't take help from an invincible memory of yourself? Ow! So for this mistake, notice that Rick kills two bugs, but then when the camera angle switches, you can see that there are three bugs lying on the ground here. So as the two Ricks continue their conversation, and keep in mind no other shots have been fired, how exactly are there more bugs dead on the ground? And what's even more jarring, as it cuts to the next shot, we can see there are even more bugs laying on the ground, and they haven't fired even one more shot, which is even more crazy. Let's catch ourselves a bird guy. So staying in the same scene, in this goof, notice that both Ricks are hiding behind this giant rock, or slab of concrete, whatever you want to call it. So as Rick C-137 throws the grenade, notice that the brick or rock or slab of concrete has gotten a lot smaller all of a sudden. I mean, did it get destroyed in the explosion? Uh, is that the excuse we're using? Uh, I'm chalking this one. Young memory Rick and his all too real cautionary tale from the future. So about halfway through the episode, we get a shot of Rick and Birdman foaming at the mouth. I mean, there's a lot of turmoil going on in there. So nothing really abnormal about that, but as the camera switches angles, uh, at the end of the episode, there's no foam on their mouths at all. I mean, their neighbor Gene did come by earlier in the episode, so maybe he wiped the foam off their mouths, but I don't think so. Uh, is someone talking to me? So for our final mistake, Rick is releasing Birdman after successfully saving his life. Notice that after he gets up, his chair rolls behind the desk over here. But after the camera angle switches from Birdman to Rick back over to a full view of both of them, we can now see that the chair has changed positions for some reason. What do you think, Birdman? And yeah, I know his name is Bird Person. I just want to say Birdman. I will see you when I see you. So what did you think of these Rick and Morty mistakes? Let us know in the comment section below which scene was your favorite. Also, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We'll keep you notified of all of our up-and-coming videos. Once again, this is Lee from Moving Mistakes, and we'll see you next time.